What do you want? Um, it's about Zhao. He's dead. Did you think he somehow survived that? <sighs> oh, know what I heard? I heard he died protecting a spoiled little brat and her stuffed dolly. A fitting end for a foolish old man. How can you? Don't you talk that way about him! You got a problem with me saying the truth? That's enough, Agria. It's not even close to enough. The lives of the Chimeriad belong to His Highness. But that old fool threw his away for some sniveling brat. That's true, but his sacrifice did give His Highness a chance to escape. <laughs> he was an idiot right until the end. Always giving me candy when he saw me, like I was some sort of little kid. He just needs to die already. He did. <sighs> With Zhao gone, the offensive might of the Chimeriad has diminished sharply. Ah! I'm all the offensive we need. That goes for you too, Grandma. No one will miss you when you kick off. I'm relieved to hear that. Just you watch. I'll protect His Highness all by myself. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. How am I supposed to relieve this stress when there's no one left to talk to or have a drink with? So, that's it? We're never gonna see Zhao again. Wingo, there's something I would like to ask you. Am I correct in my understanding that you led Ajul's armies at Fezabel Marsh? Using boosters to move through the marsh was a brilliant strategy. Are you mocking me? That strategy played right into Gillen's hands. You aren't the only one who failed to see through Gillen's facade. I share the same shame. I didn't realize someone who turned his back on his duty had any honor left to lose. Is that what you're doing here? Some sad attempt to return to the battlefield and erase your shame? How can you say that? Don't you make fun of Rowan? He's a great guy for someone who's so old! You were a skilled tactician in your prime, I grant you that. But how much of that skill remains today? Former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Care to play a game? A game, you say? A mock battle, using a real military map. But of course I would understand if you were reluctant to see how time has ravaged your talents. You don't need to buy into this. I accept. This board lets us control data from historic battles and see different ways they might play out. And what battle is this data from? Twenty years ago, on the Fezabel Outback. The Battle of Fezabel. The struggle between the armies of Rashigal and the former king of Ajul. Correct. It was a tragic battle, in which both armies suffered heavy casualties from a giant tsunami. It was Ilbert the Conductor's one and only draw. And you wish to recreate that battle now? This is no recreation. If I had led Ajul into battle, we would have won. That is what I will prove here today. Formation Ichthys. All troops advance. The core of the Rashigal army is being pushed back. Left and right troops spread out to the wings. Surround the enemy's vanguard. It's no good. The vanguard is unstoppable. What is this power? That's Gaius's unit. Their first time in battle. You won't surround them so easily. Both wings advance. Circle to the enemy's flank. Planning to launch a counterattack from my flank? Such a boring and predictable response. I'll simply attack while your troops are changing course. This battle will be won before the tsunami hits. The enemy is turning faster than Rashigal. Look out! All troops maintain forward movement. Your goal is the high ground behind the Ajul army. What? Rashigal's army is assembling on the hill. It's over. It is impossible to defeat a defending army on high ground in so short a time. Soon the tsunami will come and engulf the plains. 
you will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> and this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for the match, Conductor. We will settle this in a different way. <laughs> Sore loser! You did great, Rowan. It's because I failed in the past. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing, even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. I may even grow out of these clothes one day. You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty-night, kid. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. 
And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh? As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude. Do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. stick together <laughs> what shall we do let's see we can take that side path from the temple into the city then move along the roofs to the castle from there we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers meanwhile Gaius and the others will create their diversion sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once anyway let's go you got it How long do you intend to accompany us? However long I must. It is my duty to serve Lord Maxwell in the eradication of this Exodus group of Spyrex users. I don't recall ordering that. Your memories are your own, but it is the truth. 
Regardless, it sure is good to have a great spirit on our side. Yes. And I would be most grateful if you would continue to direct Tether with me. I knew it. You really are in that kind of relationship. But I... Why won't anyone explain this to me? Hmm. Don't! Don't stare at me like that! What exactly is this strange object that is speaking to me? Strange? Strange? Maybe you should take a peek in the mirror, weirdo! Oh my, rude as well as strange. I cannot say that I am fond of it. The mean spirit lady is calling me rude! Tipo, are you okay? Wow, she can even frazzle Tipo. I bet she really is stronger than Mila. It's her natural obliviousness that makes her so formidable. Unless that's just an act. Although that would be even scarier. That's no act. She is Mila's sister, after all. And you just say that in front of me? Who's the oblivious one now? So you've lost the four and gathered these strange humans in their place. What a peculiar choice. And my band of strange companions keeps growing. Can I ask a question? What is it? It's... it's about Zhao. Do you know why he saved Elise? A difficult question. I could speculate, but we'd have no way of knowing if I was right. It looked to me like he sacrificed himself to honor a vow he had made. But what sort of vow and to whom, I couldn't begin to guess. So nobody knows. Why not ask the other members of the Chimeriad? They would know Zhao better than we do. But they're so scary. You guys do it! That could certainly be arranged. However... Would you be satisfied with an answer that you didn't find for yourself? That's true.
show great promise. There's always room for improvement. Perfect weather for an infiltration. Everyone, 
get down. He sure is strong. You could say that again. Jude, behind you. Huh? You gonna gawk all day, kid? Let's go. All right. Thank you. 